Mia Laboratories asked me to check out their 409 Opto Compressor, and I'm a huge fan of Opto Compressors, you can use them pretty much anywhere in a mix, so I said, why not? So in this video, I want to check out the 409 Opto Compressor, see if we can use it pretty much anywhere in a mix, the same way I would use my hardware Opto Compressor. I'm Zane, welcome to Audio Tech TV. This video is sponsored by Mia Laboratories, but they didn't tell me that I had to say anything, they just wanted me to check out their plugin, which is what we're going to do. It is a $99 plugin available on Mac or Windows. Now, you do need an iLock account for this, not the iLock dongle, just the free iLock account. Now, with all that said, let's jump into my DAW and check this out on some drums right now. All right, so I have this on my drum bus here and I have it soloed. So I'm just going to play it back like this. We'll see what's going on with the compressor, and then we'll add it to the mix in just a minute. So let's just check this out, see what's going on. So you can see it's really grabbing that snare and kind of leveling out our drums a bit. Now let's just give this a listen in the full mix and I'll do it on and off so you can hear the difference. Hard rocket dreams racing like Steve McQueen. This is the best ride I've ever seen. She's a mean machine, dressing racing green. White stripes, chrome streaks and bucket seats. So you can hear when I turned it off, it kind of fell back in the mix a bit. And then when I turned it back on, it was a lot more present. So let's just leave this on the drums the way it is. And now let's check it out on our vocals. Here it is on our vocal track. And again, it's soloed. So let's just give it a listen how it is right here. Hard rocking dreams racing like Steve McQueen. This is the best ride I've ever seen. She's a mean machine, dressed in racing green. White stripes, chrome streaks, and bucket seats. All right, so you can hear it's a little more full whenever it's enabled because it's smoothing out these transients and kind of leveling things out a bit. So I'll just show you this is what the waveform looks like. You can see there's a lot of major ups and downs in here. So this compressor is doing a nice job at leveling that out. Now let's listen to it in the mix here. Hard rocking dreams racing like Steve McQueen. This is the best ride I've ever seen. She's a mean machine, dressed in racing green. White stripes, chrome streaks, and bucket seats. Hard rocking dreams racing like Steve McQueen. This is the best ride I've ever seen. She's a mean machine, dressed in racing green, white stripes, chrome streaks. Yeah, a lot more presence in the mix when that's turned on. It really kind of adds a little bit of character to it that I really like on my vocals. And the same thing with the drums. It added a nice little bit of character to the drums, gave it a more full sound. And I really like that. All right, so I'm going to try it out on the mix bus in just a minute, but first let's go over some of the controls here because it does have some cool stuff going on under the hood here. So you have your typical compression controls here, your input, makeup, gain, ratio. Process is a little different, but that's basically your mix knob. Then you have your threshold, attack, and release. All very typical stuff on compressors. You have your nice VU meters here. They're nice and big, very clear. And then over here, you can control what's displayed in the meters. If you want the gain reduction, the output, the input. And if you want to enable the external side chain, you could do that right there. And if you want to bypass the compressor, you can use this power button here and it turns it off. You also have this plus sign here and that opens up this other section underneath where you have this damping control and this can help to make the compression a little more smooth. You also have some side chain filter options here. You have this skew knob, which is pretty cool because it changes the shape of the compression. So it could do like a little bit of a curve or straight across something like that. And this doesn't affect the attack at all. It's just the shape of the compression. 
Another pretty cool feature in here is this stereo link button. So by default, it's disabled. And when it's disabled, the compression gets applied to the left and the right independently. But when you enable this, it applies the compression to the left and right channels based on the sum of the two channels together, which is a nice, cool little feature. You can try it on and off to see how it works in your particular situation. You can use the peak and the RMS buttons to change the compression detection for the side chain. And you can also use this side chain monitor if you're having some external side chain audio come through, you can enable this and you can hear that audio through this plugin if you want to. And you can calibrate the meter using these calibration buttons. And you also have a cool look ahead feature. And when you enable this, it can allow the compression to react to the transients a lot quicker. They've really packed this compressor full of useful features, but also managed to keep the user interface nice and clean and easy to use, which I like. Now, another place I like to use opto compressors in my mix is on the mix bus. So let's just close this down. We'll leave that on and we'll go down to the mix bus here where it's already on there. I just got to enable it. And here it is. So let's listen to this on the mix bus. I'll turn it on and off and maybe play with some of the settings a bit. So here we go. Hard rocking dreams, racing like Steve McQueen. This is the best ride I've ever seen. She's a mean machine, dressed in racing green. White stripes, chrome streaks, and bucket seats. I can really notice a difference, especially in the bottom end of the song. It kind of really brings it out a little bit, but doesn't make it too muddy. It just glues things together, which is kind of an overused term, but it seems to do that here. So let's listen to that again. And you can see I'm not adding a whole lot of gain reduction to the mix bus. It's just a little bit like between zero and three dB of gain reduction. Not a whole lot, but it is really making this song sound a lot more full and it's bringing that bottom end out, which I like. So yeah, it seems like you can use this pretty much anywhere in your mix if you want. Let's try it on our guitars this time. Summertime crews driving the engines to we light up these streets, then rock and roll. Red. It's very subtle on the guitar, but it does make a little bit of a difference on there. Of course, I could really crush things with this if I wanted to crank the threshold up. And yeah, like I said, you can use this pretty much everywhere in your mix. It's a great compressor. It sounds great, adds just a little bit of character, and it does a great job at smoothing out your tracks and making everything sound good together. So if you want a compressor like that, the Mia Laboratories 409 Opto Compressor might be for you. Try it out on your next single. And if you want to find out how to release a single very easily, click the video on the screen right now. Also give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already for more VST review videos like this. Thank you so much for watching for Audio Tech TV. I'm Zane, keep creating, and we'll talk soon.